Okay, today I'm going to review a piece of software called Theme Maker. Now the title, uh, the product name is pretty self-explanatory. What this does is it allows you to create your own custom themes in WordPress uh, without having to do any coding at all. Okay, so I, as a WordPress user myself, uh, I have many different websites out there and have purchased many different themes uh, for each of those sites. Well, with ThemeMaker, you don't need to do that. You're going to purchase this one framework right here, and you can build as many custom themes as you'd like. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you everything that comes included with this, uh, with ThemeMaker. Okay, so make sure you stick around uh, to hear about that. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump right in here. Now, <clears throat> in the training that you're going to receive with this, uh, with ThemeMaker as well, is uh, they do a great job of really dividing it up into kind of basic um, or beginner users, intermediate users, and more advanced users. Okay, so there's a really nice flow to all of their training. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus just on the beginner and just show you how how quickly and how easy it is to actually build your own theme okay now as you're gonna see here on this page you'll see that there's a few templates that you can already start with um, and I'll actually open up one of these here for you let's just take a look at this one so this is one of the um, of the pre-made templates that you can start with as you can see pretty slick pretty nice looking uh, definitely a higher quality design than a lot of them that you see um, so you can completely start with something like this and just edit its content okay and, and imagery I'll show you some of the settings that are that are uh, included in here there's a ton of them so I won't be able to get through all of them uh, but I'll give you a good idea of kind of what is available to you to build out designs that look just like this or just start with this design right it's a template so you can certainly just go ahead and hit the little import button and it will go ahead and put that right into your uh, into your site and you can start from there now at any time uh, you'll also see here I have this one installed this is uh, just a, basically a test here it already creates some content for me so that I can show you this a little bit uh, a little bit quicker uh, but you can uninstall any of the imported um, uh, themes that you've already started with if you don't want it anymore on that domain and it makes it easy to kind of clear out all of that content okay so as I've said, we're going to start with kind of a basic look here, uh, and I'm going to use this one to show you uh, kind of what's uh, what's included here. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, start here just in kind of these general settings uh, settings panel here. What we can do is we can set main colors. Okay. There's some main colors that we're going to want to show, um, you know, through, for our um, you know our design and our look and feel throughout the entire website, right? Through our home page, our inner pages like about us, contact services, things like that as well as our blog home page and our post pages okay so whatever uh, settings you set here will carry over to all of those pages um, now you of course can override any page that you'd like uh, within the individual template settings um, but for now this one's just going to kind of encompass everything uh, if we don't want to do any overriding and we just like to have some primary colors and typography and button looks throughout the website okay so what I'm going to do first is just set colors here real quick and there's a cool little uh, site out there it's from Adobe it's just color.adobe.com and it gives you all kinds of nice um, uh, color schemes basically that you can use with colors that go together um, so if you're just not very uh, good with color theory uh, this is a fantastic site to go to to get some good ideas so I'm just gonna pick kind of this earthy tone right here and what I'm gonna do is it's going to give me the um, hex code I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that hex code from here and I'm gonna put that in let's just do that with our primary color for now and we'll just paste that right here Okay, and then our second color I will use, I guess this one right here for now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set that right there. All right, and there's a few other colors that we can set as well, but for now I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay, so I'm going to save my my, cha my changes there. Um, now typography, you can change uh, any of the fonts. There's tons and tons and tons of different fonts that you can use. I'm going to leave it at default right now. Uh, you're just your kind of templated overall font sizes, line heights, um, font colors, uh, and and whatnot. So we can always make changes to these as we kind of go through um, through the, through building out your site. You can always make changes at at a later time. And there's also link colors as 
well. Uh, now what I can do is if I actually refresh this, those colors that I just saved uh, will now begin to say they're right there. So now they'll show up in your color picker so you don't have to keep copying and pasting that hex code. Uh, anything that you've saved in any of these main colors will then show up in those color pickers throughout uh, the application. Okay, so if there's any changes that you wanna make here, uh, we can go ahead and, and do so. But I'm gonna take a look and see what this looks like first before I go ahead and change any of that. Uh, as well as we have buttons and there's a bunch of different styles, rounded, um, you know, rounded with no fill, normal, and so forth. So for now, I'm just gonna leave them as normal. We can also change our colors. Um, and by default, it uses the primary color that we set in our main colors area. Uh, text colors, I'm gonna leave as white for now. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like when we kind of get going here, all right? Now, there's two really main sections and two main parts that you, you're gonna be concerned with when you're building out your, your theme, okay? And that is what's called templates and pages, all right? So a template, which I'm gonna go ahead and go to all templates, and you'll see I have a few here by default, our 404 page, uh, an inner page, post page, blog, and our home page, okay? Now, usually these um, different page types look a little bit different from each other, right? So that's why they're considered a template. A template is what surrounds all the content that are on each of these type of pages. Okay, so we're gonna start with the obvious, right? We're gonna start with our home page, because that's the one that usually kind of has its own unique look, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click edit, and what we're gonna do is, is be taken to um, kind of this, this little wizard over, over here, all right? So what I'll do is actually going to start and go ahead and click on page wizard, and this is kind of what the builder looks like. Now, what they have is a, a bunch of different um, presets here. Uh, we also have a ton of different categories. Now, as I said, this is the template, the design that is going to surround the rest of our content. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna build a header and a footer and I'm gonna save that out as uh, my template for my homepage, okay? And then we'll go ahead and we'll add some content to that after. All right, so right now, I'm just gonna pick um, header right there, and I will choose, I'll just choose this one right here, okay? So we're just gonna drag and drop it, and there you go. Now you see we have a nice header here, and the other thing I'm gonna want is a footer, because I'm gonna want that to show on all my pages. So footer, um, let's see here, I guess I'll just choose this one right here, and we'll just drop it down. And there now we have our footer. Okay, now you're gonna see, uh, we also have a click to add your menu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that in a new tab so I don't go away from this. All right, and I'm going to add some pages here. And we'll go ahead and add those to this menu and reorganize them however you see fit. Uh, let's see here. All right, that looks good. And we'll set it at the default spot. Go ahead and save that menu. And then what we're gonna do is generate our page. <clears throat> okay, so now you're gonna see, this is what it looks like, all right? So I set my, navig my navigation as the default, and there it is, now it's starting to appear there. And what you're looking at is basically the layout of that particular page that we've chosen. Here's the header, okay? The, there's the logo, the navigation, and then of course our image our heading, our text, and our button. Now let's go ahead and save this template and take a look at it. Okay. And there it is right there, all right. Let's go ahead and change this to the lighter theme. So I simply select logo. I wanna choose the light variant. Uh, and as you'll notice, there are a bunch of different settings that we have in every nev in every type of element there is. There's has its own um, its own bit of settings. Um, so if you'll notice, like on the logo here, we have mobile styling, styling, advance. Um, there's short codes that can be put in as well. Um, if you go into, let's say, the heading, uh, you'll see you can change the heading here. It's, it's uh, right here. So if I add just anything in there, you'll see that will update live, and there it is right there. Um, there's many different settings within each of the elements that are available, and we'll go through some of these elements here in a bit. Um, so I'm not gonna go through every single one of them, but as you'll see, there are quite a bit of um, quite a bit of settings that you can, um, you know, you can adjust uh, for each element, okay? So we're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and save that. <clears throat> Now, uh, one important part that we want to make sure that we, we include here is right now we're building the template for just the home page. The header's there, the footer's there, but there is nothing for content yet, okay? So let's go ahead and just insert a row and I'm gonna move it in between 
the header and the footer. And then what I'm gonna do is insert an element that's called, and actually here are all the elements. Um, I'm not gonna go through every one of them, but there is a lot of them. Buttons, headings, images, spacers, rows, accordions, carousels, flip boxes, um, tabs, pop-ups. Uh, there is alerts, um, custom elements, headings, icons, promotional boxes, audio, gallery, image, logo, video, countdown timers, HTML, raw HTML, uh, iframe embeds, widgets, all kinds of, of different, um, of different elements available. The one I'm looking for is actually called a content placeholder because I want to tell this template that there is going to be content here in between the header and the footer. Okay, and that's what I've done. Now, one quick thing to note here is we want to make sure is for any of our pages, uh, meaning the home page, about us page, contact page, you know, services page, anything that's not basically that's not a blog post. We want to make sure that we hide these. Okay, so it's hide post header. Yes, we want to hide that. You want to hide the featured image. We want to hide the post footer, hide the author profile, and hide the comments area because these are not blog pages. This is is for a specific front end type of a page. So I just set those. I hit save. I save my template, and we are done creating the home page um, template. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go back to all templates, and we're going to next go into inner page. Now, what inner page is? It would be the uh, all the pages like I mentioned before: a services page and about us page. Usually, those types of pages look a little different than our home page, right? The home page kind of has that big um, kind of header image or video or something like that, or call to action or headline, where a lot of the inner pages do not. So, I want that to look a little bit different, and we have a template available for us to do that. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to simply go to my page wizard, and I'm going to create what's called an inner page header. Because again, I don't want all that other stuff up there. All I want is the navigation. Okay, so I'm just going to use this one. All right, so we have our header here. We just have a logo, our navigation, and a button. All right, now the next thing I want is I want a footer on all of these types of, of inner pages. All right, so I'll use the same footer, which I believe was this one here. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and generate my page. Okay, so now again, what, what's this missing is the area for content. All right, so I'm going to just quickly insert a row. I'm going to move it between the header and the footer, and I'm going to look for that um, that element called content placeholder, so that this template knows. And there it is. I want to make sure that I've hidden all of those post areas because this is again still a page, not a post. I save it. Uh, I believe the logo is dark on this one as well. Let me see. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch that over to light, make it look a little bit better, anyways. Oops. There we go. And we'll save that. Okay, and we are now done with that. However, before I we leave this page, I'll go ahead and save the template. I want to show you this little trick here. It's called select mode. Okay, and this is how we can select different elements or different parts of our page and save it as a preset. So I'm going to go ahead and just select those. I'm going to save it to a preset and call it inner template and hit save. Okay, I'm just going to save the template again just to make sure. But now I can reuse this exact thing here on any other type of page that I want, or any, um, excuse me, any other type of template that I want. I don't have to keep recreating a header, footer, content area. Okay, now the home page was a little different because we wanted a different header, right? We wanted that one to look a little bit different than all the rest of the pages. So let's go ahead and go back over to all of our templates, and we will quickly do blog. Now with blog, it's going to be even easier that we did a page preset because I'm just going to load this preset. All right, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to take the inner template and I'm going to drop it right there. And there it is. We've already got our content area, so we're good there. And I'm going to save this template. Now that one's done. Let's go to our next template. Uh, our next template is going to be post. Now post will have one difference to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and first use our page preset. Okay, and it's right here, drag that, drop it. Now the one thing I want to change here is this content, right? Because these are now, this is now a post page and I want to show my post header, I want to show my featured image, uh, I want to show my footer, I want to show my author profile and I want to show my comments area. Now you don't have to show all those on your post pages but for this example I'm going to go ahead and make sure that none of those are hidden, okay? So I'm going to save that, I'm going to save the template, 
I'm gonna go down here just to make sure that it's okay so these are all the different page types now that I want this type of a page this template to show for single page post um, an archive the category page the tag page and the search page all right so we're good there let's make sure we update it okay so we should now be good to go with all of our templates okay so now let's go ahead and go over to our pages we've created all the templates that we need so what I'm going to do is build out the home page. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the home page. And we'll start using this. All right. And what we'll do is we'll go over to our page wizard. Okay. So now here is where things start getting cool. Okay. So we've got all kinds of different categories. Okay. So let's go over to, uh, let's just say the next thing we want to show are some features. Okay. So we have a bunch of feature uh, templates that we can use. So let's go ahead and drag this one over here. Okay, great. So now we have features and what we can do is of course edit any of these uh, of these features here once we generate our page. But let's go ahead and add some more things to it. Uh, let's just say we want to throw a call to action in next. Go ahead and drag that, put that there. Okay, so now that's what our content for this page is looking like for our home page so far. All right, and let's see, let's go with a maybe a testimonial. And we'll go with this one here and let's put that down below. <clears throat> and of course you can re-adjust um, these and move and uh, drag and drop them to whatever ordering that you would like. Uh, so we have testimonials. Uh, let's go with maybe a team. If we wanted to do that, uh, we'll go ahead and throw this one down here for our team. Now of course you guys can add whatever you want in here, but we have a nice, really nice layout for our, our meet the team section. So uh, as you can see, there are a bunch of different uh, kind of pre-made uh, sections that you can use to build out your home page. All right. So once we do that, we can then generate our page. And you'll notice here are all the elements that we've just created. Okay. And you'll see that they're all separated by the um, different ones that we put in there like right here is one here is the other and another and of course our, like our testimonials is here um, so we can edit that heading if we'd like with all of the different styling options that we have uh, we can do that with basically every single one of these um, uh, these kind of uh, pre-made sections we can go ahead and now add to them we can add elements to them remove elements from them and of course style them however we'd like and here's the meet the team so we have all our images here our icons list uh, and as you can see you can now uh, basically do whatever you need to do uh, to make this you know fit your particular business okay so we just go ahead and save that page now that's it I mean it's as simple as simple as that and you've already created and let's go ahead and take a look at it all right, you've created your home page, right? Right here. We've got our feature section, um, our call to action, our testimonials, our meet the team, uh, and of course, there's our footer. All right, so now we can go in and we can edit however you see fit uh, to make sure you have the correct content in there, okay? And if you'll notice, the template that it's using is the home page uh, template, right? Because it has this nice big header on it. Now, what I'm going to do is touch a little bit on the inner pages okay so what we want to make sure is I'm gonna go back to all pages and I'm going to just choose let's just say the about page okay I'm gonna go ahead and edit that and of course we would switch over to here now we of course we can drag we can use our page wizard and drag whatever elements we want to into this particular area okay uh, or use any presets we may have saved but the important part I wanted to show you here is this is how you apply which which template we've created should be applied to this particular page the about page all right we just simply want to say yes and we want to choose inner page okay because that is what that's the template that we want um, to to display uh, all of this content inside of it, right? And that's and our inner page has the smaller header and the smaller footer layout to it, not the big, um, the big home page header. Okay, so that's how you can kind of separate um, and make sure, of course, you update. But that's how you can make sure that you are applying the correct template or switch templates if you'd like. Uh, you can create many different templates and just switch them out, see which one which one you like uh, the the most. All right, let's go ahead and hop over to our blog page and get that set up. All right, so we have pages, we have blog. We'll go ahead and edit. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the theme maker builder and I'm gonna go ahead and use the page wizard. Now for my category, I'm gonna choose blog 
And let's choose one of these layouts here. Let's go with the two up here. Okay, so this is basically what it's gonna look like. I like that, that's good. All right, so that'll be our blog page. I'm gonna go ahead and generate that page. And there it is, okay. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so I wanna make sure I save this page first and we'll just go ahead and edit. <clears throat> and you'll notice there it is, okay? But there's a couple things here that um, you may wanna have that is not here. Number one, it's not using the correct template, okay? We need to set that template. And the other thing we see on blogs a lot, right, are the sidebar. We may wanna have a sidebar. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we wanna do is, as I've just shown you for the inner page, is we wanna make sure that the, seeing that this is our blog, our basically our blog homepage, we wanna use the blog template, okay? And just hit update. Okay, and let's go ahead and refresh. And there it is. Now you see that we have it applied to the blog page. And there it is, their footer and our header, all right? Now, widgets. We always wanna have uh, perhaps a widget sidebar here, okay? So what we can do is we can go ahead and add a column, okay? And we can drag this. So we drag over maybe over to here. And we're gonna insert an element. And we're gonna just uh, search for widget, widget sidebar. Okay, now you'll see there's some settings here, default sidebar. Um, and the other one I think I have is, yeah, it's just called opt-in. So if we go over to our widgets page, right? Whatever's in the default, whatever you have set in here is gonna show, okay? Depending on which one you've chosen. All right, you can set up as many as you'd like. So right now we have that, so I'm just gonna save that. I wanna save my page. And I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh. And you'll notice now we have all of our widgets displaying right here on this particular page. So it's as simple as that. That's pretty easy, guys. Um, now, the next thing we wanna do is, if you don't like the layouts of some of these and just the positioning might be different, uh, you may wanna put some margin in here. You can do that on any, any element at all. Just simply select it, go to styling, there's the top margin. Um, the kind of cool thing, like so if we wanted to put, let's just say 100 maybe on the top. This is for desktop. That is for tablet, let's just say 20, and mobile, let's just say we wanna do 20 on that as well, okay? So those, you can you have control over uh, each different view uh, and you can put different, uh, different styling on each just to make sure that it looks best on each type of uh, device, okay? So let's go ahead and refresh that. And now you'll notice that kind of pushed that down a little bit so it's a little bit more symmetrical and it looks, uh, it looks, a, little, looks a little nicer, okay? So it's as simple as that setting up your blog page. Now, on the blog too, uh, the, the actual layout, uh, you can also do styling on that as well. Okay, so once we have um, a, a, anything that we have in here, we can change all the styling uh, to make sure that uh, this may look a little bit different. We want to change you know, the rollover color or maybe we want the text to be white on rollover. Uh, we can certainly do any of that uh, using these styles, okay? Um, so you have lots of control. I mean, there's so much, so many different settings in here. It would just take forever for me to go through them all. Um, but it's um, it, it's very robust. You can do a lot of things and make it look really nice. And if you'll notice, guys, we've already taken this theme in the past 20 minutes, uh, and I'm going a little bit slower, you know, than than normal. When you get get really get going with this thing, it's you can knock these things out one, two, three. Okay, for our final page, let's do an actual post. Okay, so on here, we've already created this. We've already created the post um, template. Okay, and here's what it looks like right now. If I were to click on it, this is the generic of what it's gonna look like because we haven't really done any, any um, kind of styling or editing to it. Um, but let's go ahead and hop on over to the post page. So let's go back to all pages and jump on, uh, oops, sorry, posts. And, oh, I'm sorry, I think I went to the wrong one. I meant to go to templates, because that's the one we did not finish yet. So let's go back to templates and make this look the way we want it to look. Um, the big thing is, I would say is most definitely is we don't have a sidebar, right? And we want to have some widgets over there. Uh, so let's go ahead and just add our column, insert, widgetize sidebar, 
And I'll just use the default again. We'll hit save. We'll save that template. And go ahead and refresh. And now we have, now of course this is pushed way up here, which we don't want. Uh, we wanna obviously go ahead and style that up a little bit and make it look a little bit better. Um, and I'll just change it for desktop right now. Let's just try it with 100 and see what that does. <clears throat> make sure that's saved, okay. Okay, so I pushed it down a little bit more. So you might want to get a little bit more specific about how you uh, align these things, okay? So we, as you can see, it's very, very simple to create your own custom uh, your own custom themes, okay? Now, as I've said in the beginning, I'm kind of going to review what you get with um, which would you, what you get with um, this theme maker, uh, and that is uh, the front end product. You're going to get unlimited personal sites. Okay, so you can put this on as many sites as you want that are personal. There is an agency upgrade that you can you can purchase, um, and when you do, you can use it uh, for unlimited personal and client websites as well. And one thing you're going to get with that for a limited time is you're going to get a free agency template. Okay, so in our templates, as I showed you earlier. Uh, you see we had a bunch that we could uh, we could start out with, right? Well, what we're gonna do is add another one in here, which is an agency template, okay? And what that means is it's basically an agency sales page for you to sell your services of building a theme for somebody. Um, it's gonna be that sales page, okay? So it's already gonna get you up and going. You just change a little bit of the content around to fit your messaging, um, and you're good to go to start selling that particular um, service to any of, of your clients, okay? Now, again, that is is only available for a certain amount of time um, so depending on when you're watching this video it may not may not be available um, yet at that point now I do have two other bonus templates that uh, you will get with the front end purchase uh, on this as well um, which you can check out our uh, bonus page for that and get some more details uh, about that so uh, guys it's a definitely an easy, easy way to create themes across many different uh, different websites. And it also works on multi, multi-site uh, WordPress instances. Um, so you won't have any issues uh, dealing with it there. Um, so I suggest, you know, go ahead and take a look at the, at the, at the sales page and get a, there's a bunch more information on there that can help you out and go ahead and pick up your copy today.